Hey, this is Dave, and by the way, back with part two of my Buildcraft in-depth tutorial. Uh, sorry that it is raining in my world. Can't control that, so just let it rain. Uh, today I'm going to show you the quarry, the pump, things that the pump actually uses. The, uh, what are they called? The, um, uh, tanks and the refinery. Um... Also a builder and a filler and the power sources. So let's start off with <clears throat> the power sources. These are going to be very, very big in your game while you're working on it. <clears throat> so let's start off with the cheapest one to make. And that is going to be... Not that one. It's the stone one. Alright, let's we'll start with that one. Cobblestone one. Putting together stone gears, cobblestone, glass, and a piston, you create a steam engine. This is the middle of the road one. Put that there. <clears throat> now, this, with wood gears and wooden planks, makes a redstone engine. This is the least powerful one. And if you have the big bucks, and you are you have found oil in your land, you can use iron ingots and iron gears to make a combustion engine. This one's the most powerful and requires some sort of fuel source, either oil or lava, and a cooling source, because they will explode. So let me just pop these down. Now, what's going to happen is we'll set down this automatic crafting table. What's going to happen is when you power it, that's not right. Let me grab something else. Alright, so the mining well we have from the first episode is going to need a power source. Now, if you set down the redstone engine, you need a switch to. I'm using too many items just because to gather all these up ahead of time was proving to be more difficult than not. But attaching a switch to it, obviously when you flip the switch, nothing's happening. You need to create a redstone uh, clock that will power the redstone engine, which I'll show you in part three when I show you how all of these actually work. But if you don't want to deal with that, which I, I tend not to use those just because they're the weakest, they don't really power the quarry. Um, and redstone clocks are annoying to get working and functioning. There's the steam engine, which can use uh, wood. You can put wood in there. Let me get wood. You put wood in there, and it'll burn the wood. You can put coal. Put a switch on it. Boom. See, it's going. Now, things burn at different rates. And you can see where the mining well just popped out the first block of dirt. I'll show you more of that in, in more in depth later in part three. Now that'll use coal, wood. That's how that'll power that. But the way it powers is the blue, when you first set it down, the blue has to be facing the thing that you are trying to power. The alternative to this is stacking them, which you can do. Each one's going to need a switch, but when you turn them on, this these will all power that mining well. And uh, I'll stack like three or four of them in a row for a quarry just to make it more powerful. The most powerful engine is the combustion engine. Same thing, it's going to need a switch and a power source. Now what happens here is you have to put a bucket of lava or a bucket of oil, and it fills up this side right here. It lasts for a very, very long time. Um, <coughs> On this side, you need water to cool it, because if it gets too hot, it will explode and it will do massive damage to your area and possibly destroying everything around it, not to the point of being able to collect it. Oil or lava goes on this side, which I'll grab a bucket of oil. Right there. That's fuel. Empties out and it puts it in there. So now that's got oil. 
water. Oops, that's a slime ball. Getting a little bit of lag here. Put the water in. That side goes with the water. And that'll cool it so it doesn't explode. Now what you can do is, which I will show you in episode 3, part 3, um, you can feed a pump line right directly to it with oil and water, and that will do the same trick. Now you can see it turning on, and it goes. And you can see that it's not really going down too quick. The fuel in the combustion engine lasts a very long time, and they're the most powerful of the three engines. Those are your three engine types. Redstone, the weakest. Um, steam, the second, and probably the most popular because it's really cheap to make. And lastly, the combustion engine, which is the most powerful, but you do need fuel and coolant to keep it cool. Not impossible to find. Now, what are you powering with these things? Okay. Well, let's grab the quarry. Need to be here. And make a quarry. Looking at my notes, what you need is a brand new diamond pick. You need two diamond gears. This has to be brand new; it can't be used at all, or it won't it won't function. Uh, you need two gold gears, like that. And I believe these are iron gears right here. And then a dab of redstone. And you got yourself a quarry. This is going to be your main um, method of mining uh, large amounts of, of dirt. Now when I set it down, oops, I set it down, you see it creates a huge box. Now that box is the standard size. You can make that bigger, which I will show you in part three, up to a maximum of 64 by 64 blocks. But Setting it down will always create that block, and you need to clear out anything that's in it when you go to try and use it, because it will malfunction, and it won't start up, and you're just wasting your time. But that's the quarry. That is the main mining technique, or mining tool from this mod, and uh, one of the better ones. Now, if you take the mining well, set it in there. Oh. Actually, I'm going to make this first. First, we're going to make uh, the tanks. Tanks are just glass. They hold lava, oil, and water. Once you make one, glass all the way around makes one tank. Okay? Now, mining well with a tank on top of it makes a pump. Pumps can pump water, fire, or uh, lava, and oil. And they can only be connected to with waterproof piping. So, like in part one where I showed you the waterproof piping how to make it with the, uh, the cactus die. You need to have waterproof piping or it won't connect to it. And then, uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, when you set it down, you set it down directly above, like you can see all these oil spots. I chose this map on purpose because of all the oil and the water. A little thing will go down from the bottom, go down until it touches the liquid. Fire, water, oil, whatever. And then you power it. Same thing with those. Waterproof pump. Waterproof pipe. Over to a tank. Which you can stack. And it'll fill that up. And it'll only pump until it's full. It won't like overflow or anything. But that's how you store your water in your oil fire that are going to be powering your combustion engine, or being converted into fuel, which with a refinery is two redstone, three tanks, and a diamond gear. Refinery. Refinery needs to be powered, needs to be attached, It'll, you attach it to your pumps or your tanks. And what it'll do is it will turn uh, oil into fuel. And fuel is the best thing for the combustion engines because it lasts the longest and it gives it the most power. But that's the refinery. Obviously, in part three, I'll show you how all of these work and how to get them set up. This is just basic building. Now, <clears throat> what are you powering with all of these things? And I mean... As you can see, you're going to need a lot of diamond for a lot of these upper-level machines. 
So that's where the quarry comes in. Once you get a quarry, you can build a huge area and just let it mine out all day for you. Now, <clears throat> a landmark. That's that. Which is a redstone torch. This is how you make bigger quarry areas. Redstone torch with lapis lazuli on top. You make landmarks. These set down just like my torches. They actually kind of glow. But you build an area with them. Which if you right click, after I made a actual straight line, when you right click it, connects. Now you can create a, an entire box using those, and that's how you make bigger or smaller quarries than the actual standard size. Only works with the quarries. Uh, the mining well does not use it because the mining well only goes down. But using that, and the, it'll work with the builder and the filler. <coughs> now, we'll go like this. Building the filler are what gonna use the majority of the stuff you're mining up in mass. And this is how you can create um, large, large castles without actually having to ever do it yourself. That's the filler. Ink sacks, one landmark, crafting table, chest, gold gear, dandelion yellow. Dandelion yellow you get from um obviously yellow flowers. One yellow flower becomes two dandelion yellow. But filler needs to be placed next to one of these. Like you have to set up your landmarks, which you'll see in part three, and then you set it up. Now these landmarks can be reused, as you can see. I just picked them up. They're not wasted. Now the filler you use Oops. Use bricks to set up a certain pattern that you want it to fill. If I take that out, you can see it's like that. Stairs. It'll create that pattern when it starts filling. And you, what you do is, in here, you either put cobblestone or you feed cobblestone into it. And it will create this pattern inside of the parameters that you set with the landmarks. And as you can see, you can see the pattern on the outside. That's the pattern it's going to make. Now the other option is a builder. Same basic thing, but then you use diamond gears instead. Builder is a lot more complex and will do more than just standard, simple little things. And you need to use a template. Now, to make a template, like this. This is a template, a blank template. Of which you will need to put on a template drawing table, which is this. All the, the filler, the builder, and the template drawing table have the same kind of idea. You need a blank template there, and then two diamonds. That's a template drawing table. Now, this one's a little complicated, but I'll show you in part three how to use it. But this is how you create you draw your templates. Um, <clears throat> so you've got, that is everything you can make with Buildcraft. Obviously just a small portion of it. And finally, towards the end of the video, it stopped raining. Your power sources are your main things. Your pumps, your quarry, big, big thing is the quarry, which is, I'm pointing at nothing, this is the quarry. See how it makes that? Now what it'll do is when you turn it on with power, it creates the uh, actual drilling part. 
that's how you're going to mine out large, large areas. And what that'll do is it'll drill straight down in this square all the way down until it hits bedrock or lava. Every single block. And it'll spit it out into a chest that you attach to it. Now you're going to use those for supplies, for filling fillers, or filling builders. But that is going to be the end of part two. The general building of the actual pieces of buildcraft. In part three, you will see how they actually work and how to get them to run. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, like always, good luck and have fun.